you'd expect a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Hands a big right hand early. Left hook, right hand. Now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. Oh. That was a jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. These guys throwing early. Whips on the right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, he heard a bell and jab. That right hand hurt him a little bit. strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. McGregor's got the full mount. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, look at him land another jab there. Certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. What a punch. Stevens just out of range with that right hand. Nice athleticism from Stevens to avoid that potential takedown. Outstanding kick there by Connor. Just misses with the straight left hand. Nice right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Fifteen seconds to go. Try to establish that jab. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. And with that, we have arrived at our second round. Jeremy Stevens. You ready? Against that man, you might recognize him. He is Conor McGregor. Nice punch 
damage there by Stevens. Punches drop. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice shot to the body there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And if you care, just over 40% on the connection rate thus far. 41% accuracy tonight against Jeremy Stevens. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Famers. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, so he lands another punch there. And he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open. And now he's just touching it over and over again. Stevens gets caught with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That one appeared to stun him. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 90 seconds now in round two. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch land. Ooh. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! Huge uppercut for Stevens! That's the end of the round. Some significant damage done, or so it appears. The fighter's got a cut above his eye from that round. Cut man gonna earn his money here. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. 
He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 53 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner.